Hi guys. Hi. We are not on our game. We just started and stopped <laughs> four times because we didn't like the way we sounded. Happy Sunday, everybody. Hi, everybody. Happy it, weekend. Happy weekend. It is March the 11th, mm -hmm. I believe. 2017? No, 18. <laughs> 2018. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you are kind of off. I mm. am off today. We are at my house in my craft room because my husband's home today and we wanted to... We've been wanting to film in here for a while. I've been wanting to film in here yeah. for a while. Yeah, she's been wanting to film in. And I was just complaining about, oh, you can see my ceiling, you can see the hole in the wall, and she was like, you know how many people would love to have a craft room? Yeah, so many people would love to have a space they can come and leave their hobby. Yeah. And uh, so the, the lighting door. in here is pretty good, and yeah, we'll see. We tried all these different angles, but the blinds are closed. There's a window up here. We're not, it's in my basement, and uh, yeah, we're not professional. We're not professionals, but maybe we could do an evening video down here because it seems to be okay. Yeah, because we're having trouble. It's been three weeks since our last video, and we're having trouble doing it on a regular basis. The and weekend comes and goes so quickly. Yeah, yeah. and we're, so we haven't had time to really do a video. No. So, but we're here today. So maybe we can do this in the evenings. We'll in this try. Space. Yeah, we'll, we'll try. See. So yeah. So this is my craft room. You can see some. St I'm just starting to put stuff on my walls. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think in the corner you'll be able to see my electrical box. But my stitchy chair is right behind me. Um, so this is Which where is the pretty, magic happens. Yeah, this is pretty <laughs> cool that you're bringing people into your it's special very private space. It is private. Mine is, yours is very clean. My craft room is like a junk haven. Like, Well, I, I have to, before I can sit down and actually stitch, I do clean up. And I've got, along this whole wall behind the camera is built-ins. And mm -hmm. all my childhood toys to, yeah. are on the top. And I do not want that scene. <laughs> <laughs> it's personal. Well, no one needs to see my toys. <laughs> and some are not from when I was a child. Then. Right. So anyway, so... Oh, and I want... I, I forget what I was going to say. There was something I was going to say about craft rooms. I... Mm, it'll come to you. In the meantime, we mentioned on our last video about our giveaway. Still not quite ready. We are still finalizing it. Yeah. Flip-flopping. So stay tuned. It is coming. We yep. are doing a giveaway. Yeah. So we're going to jump right into it. And I'm going to start today on our finishes. So in our last video, we had said we might come back and show what we were going to finish but by the time we packed up and uploaded our video it was just way too late i had to go grocery shopping so it just did not work out and our video was long it was long last it was time. long and it took a long time to upload and we don't edit our videos we just no. po we literally film it and, post and then it you really. left and i was supposed to watch it yeah and i didn't and it timed out so yeah that takes time if you yeah we fix that problem we, we fix that problem so yeah anyway so i'm gonna start so yeah. this is one that i finished i posted on instagram this is Tempting Tangles. Someone on Stitch Mania just posted this this morning. I saw that. She got hers professionally framed, and I believe so. And yeah. I just bought a frame from Michael's, and it just fits. It looks like it's cutting it off, but... It's um, kind of the shadow, though. In person, it... Well, even then... Yeah, it's the shadow of the frame. Let's see? So what's this pattern called again? It's Tempting Tangles. That's the designer, and it's Key to My Heart. Yeah. So I did it in a purple, and you can't see it in any way, shape, or form, but it's done in the DMC Electrics as well. Yeah, it's so sparkly. It's very sparkly in person. doesn't really translate on yeah. the camera. So that was that. And then the other one, which I was surprised, I got so many comments and likes on my Facebook, because I showed my finished piece, but this is Country Cottage Needleworks, Little Neighborhood. Yeah. And... We were saying in our last video, oh, we gotta go close, we gotta go close, and then we weren't. So, well, we, we're, better. we're getting better. We're getting better. It, we're a work in progress. So, that was what I showed, and this is big. And I finished it. Uh, it's not even Pretty. gonna fit all into it because of the glare. It's really big and beautiful. Like, that's a big job to frame that yourself. It was. I was doing it while I was watching the Oscars, and it got to the point where I had to trim down my fabric, and um, it got to the point where I wasn't even measuring anymore. And <laughs> shockingly, I am all pretty much even. So I got this some um, fabric custom dyed for me from our LNS, and because uh, their store model was blue, and I really liked it, and. 
huge. And it's so soft. It and you converted really nice. the houses on the bottom. Yeah, so the houses on the bottom are the middle part of that house. It's one house. Matches the girl up here. Her dress. I really liked it in against the blue fabric. It's charted for brown. And I thought that was just a little bit boring. I love the frame. Yeah, so I framed it and then I couldn't get the backing on. And I brought it up to my husband and it turns out one side of it is beveled so it doesn't oh. fit fully in. And then, so he helped me do it and then I realized there was a cat hair or Oh, I hate that. Fluff, oh, I've done that. A fluff right in the middle of it. Oh, so we take like it every out, time. Every time. And then I put it back in and then there was another one. So we did it twice. Oh my God. Because I was doing it on the floor of my craft room, which is carpeted, and I hadn't vacuumed that week down here, so it kept picking up. And then even he was saying that we're going to drive ourselves crazy with trying to get it perfect. Mm -hmm. And it's That's, hung up. It's hung so, in a really good place. Lots of natural light. Yeah. And she actually thought I didn't even put glass in it because... Well, because um, there was no glare. There was no glare. So maybe some of these frames that we buy come different qualities of glass. No, I think it was just the angle. Oh. It was the angle and it's a hallway, my front hallway, and there was no natural light coming in. It just worked out. Mm -hmm. So these are my two finishes. And this looks professionally framed. Yeah, it looks really is good. Is it you who asked me if, no, someone asked me if it was professionally framed. Because that would cost a lot of money to do it professionally. Oh, crazy. Um, and the, the fabric is the mat. I think it was mom who made a comment like that. Um, because I can't get into putting a mat on it when I'm doing it myself because that's just beyond I, I'm well, I don't know how you cut it and how you, that's fancy it's too fancy and the store-bought frames that we're buying are not I think it's less data high quality that, but but if I buy if I get something professionally framed I do want a mat although yeah. that one's not matted that one's not, not matted. Yeah, that's... that one was a save the stitches out of the dump <laughs> <laughs> and so is that one. That you took it all apart and cleaned it up. And... Oh, of course I did. And I found the woman, the stitcher's name. It, it wasn't the dump. What it was is at our parents' cottage. They have the dump, but they have an area where they you put... Like donations. Donations that someone could use. And it's free. You don't have to buy yeah. anything. Instead of on people's curbs because it's in the country. Well, they don't have garbage pickup, yeah. I don't think of. We're talking pretty northern town. And yeah. So when I say it's from the dump, it's... From a no, I think they have garbage pickup. Do they in the town? I think well, so. The anyway. cottage doesn't. Whatever. We digress. So those are my two finishes. I'm very proud of them. And I'm getting better at the framing and more confident, mm -hmm. which is saying something. There's certain pieces, if, like I said, if anything that's You're finishing dated. a lot more stuff than you used to because well, I'm before, stitching a lot more. Especially me, too, I'd have to say. I'm finishing stuff and I'm starting to finish my older stuff that I finished yeah, that's true. A while ago. Okay, so Jennifer's going to show her finishes. So this was the one that she was going to talk about in our right. last video. We thought maybe we would do the other video, like we said, but it just got to be too much. So this is Rosewood Manor, Hearts of the Kingdom. I'll show you the pattern quickly. And see it's finished in a square right there. And I was getting kind of tired of it and kind of ready for something else. So Allison suggested Someone that we just stop. Someone had a genius idea. Right. Why don't you stop where you're doing it and just fill it in? And I talked about that in our last video, so I won't go into the details, but it's finished. And there it is right there. Just showing it a bit closer there. And then I brought it down. The glare is pretty bad, but whatever. And that's good. Yeah. That's it there. So I... I really, I really like this piece and even when before I had it framed I think in our last video I said oh I don't like this piece it's a craft room piece you know like I don't like it and I framed it and I have had a whole new love for it like I really love it it's hanging in your bedroom right? it's hanging in our bedroom and I I take it back what I said because I really like it I love the fabric I love it and now all my feelings that I had when I was stitching it and I was getting tired of it are gone away mm -hmm. So that's her fully finish, her FFO. Yeah, so the, so that fully finished, and then I finished, oh, I didn't take it out of the plastic. I only took mine out of the plastic because you could see the price on it. 
Oh yeah. Okay, so this is a pattern from just another button company and it's called Sweet Nest Net. Sweet, no. <laughs> um, Nest Sweet Nest Pin Feathers number two. So I guess there's another one and I yeah, bought they're it. they're animals. They're really cute. Oh yeah? Yeah, get us as them. Oh. It's a series. So when I bought this, okay, like I've talked about how impulsive I am. When I bought this, I didn't even realize that it was a bird. I thought it was a hat. I don't know. I, <laughs> I didn't even read, like, I just thought, because we have, we belong to Canadian Buy and Sell Group, and, like, Facebook group, Facebook group, yeah. For just for Canadians, because, yeah, some Americans don't like selling to Canadians. Just well, I think the post-it, it's complicated with the postage. So, anyway, so, this pattern came up, and I'm like, oh my god, something that nobody's taken. I want it. So oh, then, that was a Facebook yeah, thing. and she sent it with the fabric and the button, so it was something she intended to do. Oh, she had kitted it up. Where did I, oh, oh, where did I, oh, where did I put the thing? I have to show you this. So my mom, so mom noticed this, that the fabric that came in it, guess where it's from? It's from Acorns and Threads. Ah. And it's Weeks Dye Works and Weeks Linen Guacamole. 30 count. I've never even stitched on 30 count. Hmm. Didn't know Weeks did linen. Nope. It's the piece, the price on it was it's thirteen by seventeen. The piece twelve fifty. That's a pretty good price, I think, for linen. So US. it's from Acorns and Threads. So that is pretty cool that I did that. I don't know. I thought I should mention that. I feel cool that I got something from Acorns and Threads. <laughs> Part even, of the club. Without even knowing. So yeah. So I'll show you what I did. Do you need something behind it? No. Okay. That's fine. So, there you go. And it was really fun to stitch it. And it's not showing up as green on the camera as it is in person, I think. But... Look at the buttons, too. Mm-hmm. All the buttons. I'll go a bit closer so you can see the buttons there and I don't know how I'm gonna finish this usually when I'm stitching a piece we're talking about a toadstool and we're like what's it we're like we can't picture because I'm gonna get up um, she's got because when you <laughs> I said I'm gonna make it into a toadstool I've got this great idea it's gonna be so great right the good, the good thing about being in my craft room I all my stuff is here this is a toadstool <laughs> hold it up there a little long. that'd be funny if that was the this to me and to my mom, it's a mushroom, but to me, like, we think of toadstool. That's stool. toadstool. We think of a toadstool like this. Um, Where'd you get that? Where did I get this? This was from the Bay, a department store here, at Christmas time. They have their tables all set up. Oh, my God. And it was... It's heavy. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, this is it's like, like a chair. Well, no, it's not so a chair. So, they had a display of a dining set all set up for Christmas, and these were the centerpieces. And I said, oh my gosh, I love those. And then so after the season, New Year's Eve, actually, we were at the mall <laughs> and they had them on clearance because it's um, Lord and Taylor. Who knew they made tools tools? Um, it's a clothing company. And they, and then we were like, and my husband and I were inspecting them all because it's like fuzzy. But anyway, we digress. To us, this is a toadstool. So we were right. asking. So I did some, I'm like, well, what do I mean? A toadstool. I'm like, maybe you people out there speak my language. You know what I mean? So anyway, so it's a drum, like a little roll with a top and a bottom, like a little drum, you like a little log a kind of. I thought it was a toadstool sort of thing, concept. You mean like a stool? No, a drum. Like a drum. Like, we'll talk about it after. Okay. Offline. We need <laughs> We need to discuss this. Anyways, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna finish it like that. So I don't even know why it matters. But <laughs> I'm gonna finish it like a pin cushion, I think. But it's like gonna be a gigantic pin cushion. And then I put post on Stitch Man and got some great ideas to put to finish it. What to put inside. So, final verdict, it's done. And I really love stitching on weeks linen. It's a really cute pattern. But I wouldn't do thirty count again. I don't know what if they make other I don't do like the like holes. I like 32, but the holes, it's very, very soft fabric and the holes kind of like, I don't know. Well, that's linen. So maybe that's not the count that you're not liking. Maybe it's the type of linen. <laughs> hair. The hair. Is it from the toadstool? <laughs> I think so. That was a very furry toadstool. Anyways. <laughs> so yeah. That is, is that all your finishes? Do you two? 
All right. Great. Those are my two finishes. Yeah. Great. So we're so, doing pretty good. We're at 15 minutes. Yeah. Not that we're rushing. I have nowhere to be. Oh, I put fur in my mouth. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so um, so we had a productive finishing, I would say. Yes. And the things are up on our wall, and we've been enjoying them for at least a week. Yeah, we and we both did hearts, and it's no longer February, but whatever. Lots of love. Lots of love. So Put that this, I'll is this our right. finish. So we're yeah. gonna go into whips now. So Jasmine's okay. gonna go first, and I did not even see this. This is well. Totally am I showing this first? Whatever, it's up to you. Your show. Um. Well, yeah, I can show this first. So, in our last video three weeks ago, I posted that I bought this. Uh, okay, so I bought this pattern a while ago in the summertime. It's by Lynn Nicoletti. Canadian designer. We Canadian about designer, it. yep. And this is a series for seasons. Yep, and this is the spring tree. And I went three weeks ago and kitted up with all the specialty threads. There's not very many. There's three. Three and the three packs of beads. A visit, a couple, whatever, sorry. On the yeah. last visit to the elements. Second last. Second visit, last. Second last, because I went yesterday. With our mom. Yeah. Without me. Well, you weren't available. I was available afterwards, but no one thought of me. Well, you know what? We're thinking of your wallet because whatever. Don't be jealous. I'm not. I'm bitter. I'm not jealous. <laughs> I'm bitter. <laughs> so this is, so I was working on my Blackbird designs and I thought, oh my gosh, I came to a bit of a standstill. Uh, sorry. I came to a bit of a standstill with this because I, or with my Blackbird design because I ran out of floss. I needed to get a refill of it. So anyway, so I decided I'm going to start this. I had all the stuff. I'm shaking, sorry. <laughs> but I start, so I'm done the tree in the middle and I just have to do around. And then there's a yellow board, like a creamy yellow border. It's really nice. And there's printing around the Thank border you. of it. I really like it. And you didn't want to show the fabric the last time. Oh, and there's beads too. I was saying to her before we started, we all know it does not photograph very well. But to me, oh yeah, that's nice, but not something I would be interested in stitching. But seeing hers, it's like a pale minty. So the minty fabric color. is called. What is um, the fabric? Uh, where's my thing? I wrote it down. Belfast 32 Count Miracle Mint. So yeah, so it was like a soft mint. And it's yeah, it does it doesn't show up no, unfortunately it's as showing well, up but as white. But the only thing I'm not using called for is the petite treasure braid around the board, the first border of it but I'm using uh, I'm using Krennic two strands of Krennic because you know what I have so much I have a whole a needle workshop was going out of business and I bought almost like I bought their whole stash left of Krennic and I have a lot of Krennic so I need to use what I have mm -hmm. I've never used petite treasure braid it would have been nice to use it but I just thought I'd use what I had for that portion of it yeah so, so really nice how are you gonna finish this do you think I think I'm gonna put it in a frame and I'm gonna put it with no glass. With no glass. And batting? I'm gonna put lots of batting behind it so it puffs up. Yeah, I do that. I actually quite like it like that with just the one flower. You do? Yeah. No, I'm gonna do all I hate backstitching. And it's not a surprise, before I got this pattern, I don't like backstitching. So this this is gonna take me a while to finish it because I need to take breaks. My and there's a lot of counting. My dog's trying to get in. <laughs> He went upstairs. So, anyway, so that's what I started on, and I really, really, really think I it's didn't even cute know she was and small. It. It's like a cherry blossom tree or something like that. And then I've been working on Bringing Good Cheer by Blackbird Designs. I've been working on this guy, and this is so much fun. This is the one she's doing her own conversions. Yeah. I can show you. Oh, it's nice and ironed. <laughs> so the last time you guys saw it I hadn't fully completed all the way around and I'm still working on that but um, I had to get I had to wait to get some more floss which I got at the store yesterday so that's it there and I think I can have this done probably by our next video I might have this done we'll see I don't know if that'll end up and I'm doing on 32 count taupe linen even weave it's a very nice linen i've stitched a couple things on this and i really like it 
um, I didn't really did, was it a close-up enough of the blending that I did uh, it's hard to flip it's hard it doesn't really show but like we I've got know it's there. We know it's there. I did pictures on my Instagram, and this is what I was saying to my mom yesterday, because she was saying, well, what do you think of it? And I said, like I said, like, in our last video, I really think that this is nice the way I've done it. I picked reds that I liked, like, two reds that I liked, and put one strand of each, and then stitched the red symbol like that. So I will, sh will share my conversion with anybody who would like it. But this is a piece that I think it looks nice the way I've done it, and I think it would look beautiful with the, the hand-dyed floss. But it's a different look just like different dye lots give a different look mm -hmm. so you know what at the end of the day i had fun stitching it and i think i will maybe do another piece like this in the future but when you can't buy you can't buy everything you have to restrain yourself sometimes like i said yeah you have to you know and sometimes it's worth taking the risk because hmm. i still love it even if i did it with the fancy floss so yeah it's looking good thank you okay so, so those you. are what you're working on that's what's on your q snaps yeah so i am working on joy um, joy is killing me softly it's almost <laughs> done i don't know where the pattern is um my crafting was all disheveled <laughs> because we had to rearrange we're furniture. down here so i literally am on the last motif and i'll probably this finish is it massive today. So, there we go. Are you and your BAPS here? What? BAPS, big ass project. Oh. <laughs> so here it is. So I've, I'm working on the swan right there. And everything else is finished. So, I'm so over this. Um, it's been a fun project. And I... Why are you over it? Because Are it's you just tired taking of the forever. Colors, or? No, it's just taking forever, and I want to start something new. And I'm well. Good for you for sticking with it and finishing it. Because you know how easy it is to like say, "Oh, I'm tired of it. I'm just gonna take a little break," and then I'll never get back to it. And then you never get back to it. But the thing is, is it's it says something, you know, about your stitching and about you to finish it. Huh. Well, I'm just I want to start something new. I posted. Like two weeks ago. Well, it's hard to resist. That's the thing. Yeah. And all, two options of what people thought I should start. Nightmare by Courtney Collection or um, this animal one that uh, is an older pattern and is pretty much split down the middle. Then I'm thinking, oh, well now my carousel is kind of coming to me. I was listening to my husband talk to the dog. Um... It was calling to me my carousel, but I need to, I need instant gratification. I need to do a small project. Um, so I, I like doing small ones in between the big ones. Yeah. And I started this just before Christmas. I was kidding it up and I've done the, a couple projects in between finish. So I don't think I should do another big one. I think I should either do a small one or I could work on that one. What one? Uh, I have the uh, Nora Corbett Trick or Treat Fairy. It's done, isn't it? No, it's not done. I ran out of beads. Oh. Here, do you want to hand it to me? Yeah, we're, we're pointing off screen. So that's just... Yeah, a, that's, kind of, that's a, rude, isn't it? That's a stitch to use. <laughs> so this is the... Oh, you're right. Half her head is done. Yeah. I ran out of beads. So I had to... Those beads. Blue ones, right? Yeah, the moon. And the Krennic. Krennic. So uh, maybe I should finish her. Yeah. So that's Nora Corbett. Um, it was in a magazine. I bought it offline off of uh, Hirshner's. Quite a few people had stitched it. It's like five dollars, people. And I it's got really nice. I like the fabric. spider webs. Look at the spider. The spider webs are like shimmery, shimmery. What are you gonna bring to New Jersey to show? I don't know. Do I need to bring anything? Well. So maybe this one's calling my name of what to do next. Because I'm going to finish this puppy today. And I've been saying I'm going to be finishing Can I show your other fairy? For quite a or while. Or did you already show that? No, you can show that too. See? Distractions when we're in the craft room. This one's done. 
That's why when I come here to craft, we don't really craft. The, that is a oh, Nora Corbett look at that. pixie. I oh my gosh. Can't remember her name actually. Look at this. And her shoes. Look at the shoes. It's hard to see. It's hard to see, but she's got like a little shimmer there. That is Nora Corbett's Ivy. I just had to see that. So that's all done. And I'm going to be getting her professionally framed. Because when you get into beads, um, I don't know. I just want to oh, get I'm shaking the table. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm going to get her professionally framed. So anyway, I digress. This is what I was working on. Right. That's, that's my only whip. I've been going crazy. I haven't actually been stitching all that much. Um, I stitched yesterday because when I had finished what I needed to do during the day, I was nowhere. So I just stitched by myself. So, um, and then... <laughs> you know what she's getting at? Yeah, because they had a lovely day without me. She is getting... You went and you had a whole bunch of plans. Morning plans. Morning plans, Yeah. You had afternoon plans. It took us two hours to drive. It took us anyway, two hours to drive. Let's not have a domestic shop. on our video. So I was stitching last night, and I was stitching as I was waiting for her because I had th two, three unfinished motifs. You were waiting for me. One. Yeah, because we said two o'clock, so I was ready for two o'clock. For what? Oh, to come, come here today. Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah. that is our whips. So now. Uh, you remember when we first started these videos? We were saying we are starting the videos because we are going to the New Jersey Floss Tube Retreat. And then we went on and on and on about saying how none of us is going to spend anything until... Because at what point we were, what, five, six months out to New Jersey. We weren't going to buy anything. But we both have purchased things. That's what we're going to show next is our haul. That's like stash shaming. No, it's not. We're sh well, I'm. Sh yes, it is. I am stash shaming because <laughs> we both said we weren't going to buy anything. And we're stash sh shaming ourselves because I shouldn't yes. be. I'm not working very much, and I shouldn't be spending money. Although I've only purchased my things secondhand. Well, that's so good. Although I want to say something, and I think there's people out there that can relate. I was talking to mom yesterday and she was saying, you know, she was saying to some, to another crafter, um, in a guild that she belongs to, she was saying, you know, it's, I, now I'm not even telling the story properly, but she was basically saying her, the gist of it was, was, you know, I would rather buy, and this is true. This is real life. I would rather buy the specialty floss. I would rather buy new patterns. I would rather buy fabric I don't need, patterns I don't need, patterns I want and maybe someday will stitch, then buy a new bra <laughs> or a new pair of jeans or anything. Like I will wear the old jeans or the old bra way longer than I should so that I can buy. Like sometimes I'm at the store and I'm like, oh, that's expensive for, that's expensive for jeans. That's really expensive for jeans or, you know, but then I have no problem paying $4 a scheme for floss. See, I'm not as hung up with the fibers as I think you and her are. Like, I don't, I don't get a shiver when I go down the floss. Aisle. I get a bit of a shiver, but I think it's because <laughs> mom's enabled me. I like the patterns and fabric, but the fabric is a means to an end because I need to stitch my patterns. So I don't get that. No. I like, no. I want to, so we're going to go into hall, right? Yes. Sorry. Yes. We're going into hall. And I was going to go first. Or did you want to go first? Yeah, go first. Okay. So the first one is I got our next, the next issue of the Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher. And I'm sure there's others out there that have done like a color that magazine. It's just for spring. Except, sad news, guys. Don't lean on the table because it's shaking. Sad news. This was my last 
subscription issue in my subscription and USPS the United States Postal Service has upped their shipping so and this is a, a US publication they are no longer going to do print subscriptions to Canadian international including Canadians because it jumped four times as much um, and so they put a lovely note in there saying as such and that you can still get the digital subscription but I like paper subscription like I know you can print it off and it's the same thing but I like just flipping through and oh it smells good <laughs> I like the smell of brochures and books. Well, I considered getting this subscription after yours was done, and we could alternate the turns of getting this oh, subscription. Oh, that's a nice idea. So there's but. two Canadian sto uh, stores that carry it as well. So I could call them. But we're in Ontario, and one is in Calgary, and one's in New Brunswick. So they're not close to us. So I was thinking, well, maybe I should call them and see how much... That would be well, well, how much is a digital subscription? Twenty four US dollars. USD. Is that cheaper than what you're paid now? Yes. I think I paid thirty seven US so for four subscriptions. But what might be good is we're close to the border, the Buffalo border. Oh, yeah. So we can maybe I can try to find a shop that's within driving distance. Does I I don't know, does Hobby Lobby sell this? I had I'll have to do some research. To see if there's somewhere mm -hmm. realistically that I can just cross over. There, I want to look at this after because there's a lot of things mm -hmm. in here that it's I cute. Would... It's a spring. So that's that subscription. First haul. And then... There's... I'm sorry. Oh, lots of people have talked about that. Okay. The um, Frida pattern. And yep. shout outs to McKenna. She loves Frida. Anyway, so while she's looking, I'll continue. So this was from the Canadian Buy and Sell, which is fantastic to buy them used it's kind of one of those things where when you're thrifting why pay full price when you can get them at a fraction of the cost used and i know the whole supporting of the designers and whatnot and the lns so not to get all political about that i just like buying a used pattern because someone else gets the enjoyment out of it and you pay a fraction of the cost i digress this is prairie schooler rain rain go away i thought this was really cute i like all of them so maybe I can do one of these. So this is Prairie Schooler uh, for 2007. And mm -hmm. it's very rainy here in the spring. Not yet. We're still doing winter. Okay, so I thought that was cute. Love it. So I can do that next. And then I got Prairie Schooler Home Words. And I got it because of the There's No Place Like Home. I thought that would be really cute as a long pillow. I, see, I feel funny saying pillow every time because we were going on about how we were over pillows. So that was um, Homewards and that was from the years not readily available. You know what? I just want to, can I interrupt you for a second? Mm -hmm. As nice as she asked. <laughs> yes. I have to ask because I wanted to make a point. It's really nice to buy these patterns. Like somebody paid $10 for this pattern, right? There's a sticker on it for $9.99 and I'm assuming it I would think be I paid four bucks. Canadian, but you never know if the person that previously owned it went to the States. But it's really hard to sell your patterns. Like, it's really hard. Yeah, I don't. I'm not attached to my patterns. Like, I look at this, and I think, that's so pretty. It's like a collection. Like, I look at it like I'm collecting, and Mom's got patterns that she stitched, and it's nice she still has the pattern. Oh, those are amazing. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, it's but true. But it's, it's like... It's really hard to sell them. But if you're not going to stitch it again, no. let someone else who... And I know you... like. I'm not going to hold on to something because I might have a child one day that will stitch in 20 years right. like our mom. Um, and I, I'm going to be selling some of my stuff, I think. And then also giving some stuff away that for to other floss tubers that I know would like it. And then another one that Ooh. I got was this little bunny. All right, let me take it out. Hold it up really close. Um, it's hard to see patterns. the Sunflower Seed. I've never heard of them. They're out of Kansas, it looks like. And it's just a bunny. Pretty. So I bought this with the other two patterns because it was a dollar or two dollars, and I was paying for shipping up regardless. Cute. So I just thought, and I think it would be really cute doing the bunny in Whisper. Yeah. 
Well, that's a lot of stitching in Whisper. You might really hate yourself for that. Well, I've never stitched in. Yeah, don't sign up for that. <laughs> and then um, continuing on the theme of buying things secondhand, I bought this Mill Hill kit. kit. I keep saying Mill Hill kit because it's a Mill Hill book. And it's full of Christmas patterns. And they're real. like, I'm going like really close. I'm hoping that's in frame. Um, it's, yeah. they're not photographed very well where you can't really see them. Like, look how tiny they are. So it's not really photographed. But patterns used to be sold like this, where you could buy a whole book and it would, yeah. And then you'd buy, but now they come out with. Well, 2004. Like I mean, one pattern. Now it's different. Yeah. Or like, oh, I thought there was something in that. Like one pattern. Like now it's, it's, or it used to be different. Yeah, this was a 2004 Mill Hill. I didn't even know that they did books. I haven't seen anything in a long time. You can't even, again, you can't see anything. So I thought this was really nice. I like Christmas stuff and they're quick stitches. So I got that. And the reason why I got that was because remember in our last video, I was talking about Lavender and Lace Angel of Love. I found it. I found it. Oh, so there she is. So her skirt is all done in beads. Wow. So I mentioned it in my last video on an American site. She had it, but a, a lady was selling it, but that didn't have PayPal. So then this girl posted a whole bunch of lavender and laces. She actually started her own group because she was destashing from um, a closed store. Group. Well, this was a closed store. So oh, okay. she was posting all these lavender and laces. So I had took a chance. I messaged her so that um, she wouldn't see an influx of requests like mine. I said, any chance you would have Angel of Love? And she was going to go look. And she looked. And long story short, she has it. So I bought that. Oh, that's a nice story. <laughs> Angel of Love. I, and would, I was keeping an eye out. Like, I was looking for Angel of Love. And on the American site, like we talked about before, yes. it didn't work out. But didn't work out. And the uh, LNS. Sometimes happens. Yeah. And the LNS that I saw it finished was, um, she, they didn't have it. And she could have ordered it. But, guys. $4. Four dollars. $4. Excuse me, and if I were to buy it from the LNS, as much as I like to support them, I'm on a budget. I can't buy everything. I have to pick and choose. Yeah. Um, maybe someday in my life, I that won't be an issue. But at this point, I have to watch where I spend. And it was twenty three dollars. I should do that. <laughs> it's it's a nice feeling because I waited, I and I got it for four. And so she was selling all these beads. So I asked if it's not too much trouble. If, let me know if you have any of the beads or Krennic. And she was able to get two beads, packages of beads, the Mill Hill. And it called for a DMC thread, gold thread, she called it. And she said she didn't have that, but she had a Krennic that was similar. Would I like that? And I said, yes. So that is my haul. And I'm very excited. And I know what I want to stitch it on in my mind. So I think I'm going to buy fabric for it when we're on New at New Jersey. Go to New Jersey for what kind of fabric. Retreats. Um, actually, on Instagram, I'm following somebody yes. who is stitching it. I want to do it on that. Yes, and I don't think I'm gonna do the halo around her face because it looks. I I, I don't think I'm gonna do that. But so that is my bargain haul, and I'm very proud of the fact that I have not gone to the store and I'm watching where I spend. Mm-hmm. As I good for you. Too. Better than me. You're a better stitcher than me. Better spender than me. Well, I mean you can't buy everything, right? You've got stuff. Other stuff that you need to do. That's right. You gotta pick and choose. So that's my thrift haul. You know what a lot of people have been doing lately, and I'm gonna talk about it right now, is the free patterns. And I went and printed off a couple free patterns, which are not so easy to find. Like I had a hard time. Like I would type in a designer and then go to their website and then try and find their free patterns. But it's not easy. To, you have to hunt a little bit. So I had some time last weekend and we had a snowstorm. I thought spring was here and then we had a snowstorm. Like, oh. Anyways, so um, this was really cute. Spring Bunny Love. And I'm going to hold it up because they're free patterns. And it's you from the... You go to their website. I think you can... Yep. Yeah, the Snowflower Diaries. Spring Bunny Love. 
and I'll just, I mean, I'm not going to hold it up for too long, but just show it really quickly. So Spring Bunny Love. That's and available. that's available. That's kind of spoke to me. Do you have a lot? I didn't do doubles, like. No, but to show, do you have a lot to show? Or? Not really, no. Uh, tulips with bunnies. This there. is the primitive hair. No, yep. not primitive no, hair. No, Snowflower Diary. Snowflower Diary. Diary still. The primitive hair is this one. It's in black and white, but you get the point. You've seen it a bunch of times. Sister Stitcher. And I might stitch it from that. Ooh. Yeah. Does that mean I have to stitch one for you? Depends how much you stash shame me. I'm not stash shaming. I'm just jealous. You had a lovely day. <laughs> And this is from Books Brooks, and they've got all the alphabet. And I just printed off the X. I love X stitch. X is for cross stitch. That one. And Little Moon Welcome from Books Brooks Books. I thought that was kind of cute. But I don't like the colors, though. Well, I, well I'm going to convert it. And then, like everybody else, I jumped on the bandwagon for doing the houses, the Brooks books. I've never even heard of Tiffany this. from Tiffin Stitches um, showed them in her video. A few people have shown them in her in their videos, and I printed them all off. They're just, all free? Just because, and they're all free. So I would love to share them with you. Like, oh, I don't know. That's nice. Yeah. I'll share anything with you. Oh, that's nice. So, me too. Let's go both ways. It's better when you share. Don't have to teach your two-year-old. Share. Okay, so freebie. So that's that's great. I'm jealous that you got those things, but you can get free things. So I've been finding some free things. Not that I, you know, when I'm gonna stitch them. I went to a thrift store and I got a new purse. And I think everybody's gonna be so jealous of my new. She's so purse. modest, right? I'm, yeah, everybody's gonna be so jealous of this. Everybody's gonna want this. Like, hello, my new purse. Like. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. That was a joke, by the way. All right, this is not my new purse. This is something. Look how old it is. Like, it's got, like, a little antique lining. And it's even missing, like, a little stone. And it's all needlework. Like, and it's it's really tiny. Like, like here's my lipstick. Like, oh, my God. It's so cute in the back. And it's just, like, really old. And I got it for $1.99. Aww. Yeah, and I have no intention. Obviously, I'm not going to use this. Like, what's it gonna, I'm not going to fit anything. But <laughs> it's really... my purchase that I just bought that I can't use. Well, it was a joke. It's decorative. Yeah, it's really cute. It's really old. And I think it's really sweet. So I bought that. And I wanted to buy a um, three-inch square marker to, like, really? put... <clears throat> yeah, like a, a, a three-inch ruler to, like, know where to okay. start in the corner, right? So I tried to buy one, and the lady at the store said, oh, no, um, you could just make one. I thought, brilliant. She wouldn't buy it. She wouldn't sell her one. She wouldn't sell me one. She goes, you can just go make that. So I did. So three inches. So if I put this up to my fabric, then I know where to start right in the corner right there. So that's... I like that you put the arrows. Well, I have to make it fancy. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Don't shame me. Brilliant You're idea. You're a little self-conscious. You keep thinking I'm shaming you. Well, I'm shaming myself in my head because I know I shouldn't be spending money. Anyways, so, and then I bought a new sewing gauge. At the store, was this at the store yesterday? Yeah, this was at the store yesterday I bought this. The sewing gauge because um, the one I have, I have the same one, but it's metal. This piece is metal. It's old and it's sly. It's really slippery. I need something that's a little bit more sticky when it goes across. A little more stiff. Yeah, I bought the Miracle 32. Ooh, what's that for? Nothing. It's not for anything. I just bought it because I wanted to buy it. I like that. I have to open it. Miracle Mint. This is what I'm doing the Lynn Nicoletti piece on. Oh. Is it getting washed out? Oh, it's okay. People know these things don't show good. And it's, I bought a fat, I bought a fat quarter 18 by 27. What? <laughs> Are you, what did you say behind my back? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, okay. You said, I don't, it doesn't show good. I'm like, oh. it doesn't show well. Oh, you're correcting me. Whatever. Okay, so I bought that just because I love that piece of fabric and I didn't even have a need for it, right? Like, why buy a new pair of, like, jeans when I could buy this? Like, I just bought new jeans. You did? Well, yeah. 
sometimes, sometimes you need, like, sometimes you have to pick and choose, right? You have to pick and choose when you're going to lose your mind. Well, I use points to buy my jeans. Yeah. So, somebody posted on, um, I need to get my, ca my camera. Somebody posted the Strawberry Fields Blackbird Designs. The Beatles series. Yeah. That we were all going to do together. Her mom. This one right here. Blackbird Design. Right? People have seen it. It's part of the Beatles. There's a sal going on with it, I think. Yeah. Blackbird Beats or something like that. So, she kitted it up. I kitted it up. So, this is the fabric and the threads that I picked. This is 32 count something. 32 count, I don't know what. It's like a natural linen color. Like, hello, that's what I'm doing it on. And I don't know when I'm going to start this. But for some reason, I just had to have all the gloss, the fancy gloss, after I said... Did mom peer pressure you to do that? No. I wanted to do that. Because I'm really liking my Blackbird. The three of us are going to do it together, and now I haven't had... I don't have mine kitted up yet, and I'm like, well, what am I going to use, DMC? Well, what are you waiting for? Why can't you use DMC? Well, if you guys are going to use the fancy flosses, I don't want mine to be boring. And what am I waiting for? You keep going without me. That's what I'm waiting for. You keep going to the store without me, so I haven't had a chance to kit it up yet. Plus, Mom has the pattern. Right. Anyway, so she kitted it up. It's really nice. I like the fabric she chose. Yeah. The fabric. Is, I know it doesn't show up very well, but it, it calls for gas and uh, really well. Yep. It's really nice, guys. Right. Like, why buy just a couple of fancy flosses when you can buy the whole line? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So and then you, I, the reason why I went was because I had to go get this. I had to go get this pattern for the Stony Creek Collection pattern of the month series that I'm doing. And I went, I talked about this in our last video. I kitted up all the threads and everything. So I got them all. And this was the last one that I needed. So I went and got it. So have you been thinking about that a little more? You didn't know if you were going to do them vertical or horizontal. I'm going to do them all vertical. You're going to do them all vertical. Yep. It's going to look really nice. I'm going to do them just like... That picture. And that's how they had it done in, in yeah. the model, right? Stitched in the store? Yeah. All right. That's great. That's what I went and bought. So you had a productive. Was there any patterns you saw that you resisted? No. Okay. Yeah. I have several things in my project basket that's all kitted up and ready to go. So Did I'm... get the feeling... Like, get where you have lots of projects kitted up and you just don't feel like any of them. Yeah. Like that's first world problems right there. Sometimes I think kitting them up isn't really a great idea because you may not want to start it and what's the point of really getting all the threads when you're not going to start it? Like sometimes I feel like I shouldn't be kitting it up because I have projects kitted up that I loved at one point and may not really be my taste right now. Well, just use it for something else, the fabric for something else. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I have very many kitted up. I got Nightmare and those animals. I think that's it. Oh, you do so. No, I think those What about the Nora Cor Corbett? Um, well, that came as a kit. That doesn't count. What, you bought the fabric? Oh, yes. That's true. I did. Right. And I, I really should not, not say anything about kitted up projects because before the discovery of floss tube I thought cross stitch was dying and there wasn't much and the all these different places online you know where I'm going with this so it was all about the quilting so I'm like I'm gonna be a quilter so I borrowed a machine from I'm my, looking over there at my family member and to make sure that quilting was for me and I decided, I did all my research, I bought a machine, a faff, it's beautiful. But it's a in digital the meantime, faff. I was all about the kits. And all about the quilt. Do you want to grab that? <laughs> I got it. You guys have to see this. Oh because God. she was saying I was shaming her. I should not speak at all. Yes, you've had your day. I Whoa. was all about the kits for quilting. And I would see them and even if they weren't like beginners i was i was still by the now, are you sure you want to be this vulnerable <laughs> but keep in mind keep in mind friends 
that this I bought these when I was renting and I had no expenses. I was not married. Okay. <laughs> this is her box of <laughs> of quilt take it away. Of, of you... quilt kits. Like look at that. Like and they're all kitted up. I mean, this was $58. I think my mom bought this for me. So, I mean, I they're brand they're brand new. But again, I like People, I'm telling you, like, they're all kitted up. I won't say how much I spent on this. But these... How much? Say. No, I'm not giving in to peer pressure. <laughs> so, anyway, these are my... But that's not true. Here's... People know what they quilt, stitch. they know what's expensive. My Nora Corbett's in here. It's not all quilting. Like, come on. There... And there's some, some from when I was a kid. Like, here's a Mill Hill kit... That's all beads. That's done That's all nice. by beads. And it's all that. I didn't know you had that. I haven't looked in this basket in a while. Yeah, it's like a grab bag of everything. So, do you guys ever daydream that you could have your own craft store? I all the time think, oh my god, I would love to have my own cross stitch shop. Mm -hmm. I would love to. I wish we had one close enough and I would love to even work at one. Like, oh my god. But anyway. I would be such a good salesperson. So I do not feel guilty about this because I was not married and I had no house. I had disposable income, people. So some of them are really cute. But um, Did you show this one? Yeah. Show put that up there. Three three's a charm. Red and white. I love oh, red. You've got to do some of these. <laughs> All kitted up, guys. So, at least there's no price on it. Oh, there yeah, is. No, there is. Because um, there was a uh, craft show that's twice a year that there was only a few cross-stitch places that yeah, really I heavy. fell in love with some of... And they're so... Oh, anyway, I digress. So, there was something else I wanted to say. Jennifer could not believe the response she had with the pen pals oh right yeah and so many great people and you started like emailing one girl and i have two ladies that were emailing back and forth and were email pen pals and so she we've been emailing it, back and forth the response and bringing yeah bringing everybody together so and she you, and you sent stuff out so. yeah i sent six letters out yesterday i so i Put the I put the call out for pen pals. I got lots of responses, mm -hmm. but it takes a long time to do the letters. Mm -hmm. So, if you haven't got a letter yet, don't be worried. You're gonna get one. Mm -hmm. I've got your address. I have, I have this little book, and I put everybody's address in here. If you haven't got a letter yet, because I got two, three, four. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 people. And I've got 6 done. So, if you haven't got your letter yet, it's coming your way. And you're getting a nice little letter from me. <laughs> I find it's hard to write letters to people that I don't really know yet. Like, I'm... Like, I don't know these yeah. women yet, right? So we're trying to get to know... I'm trying to get to know these people. I've always liked doing letters. Um, one of it's our cousins... It's time-consuming. It's, yeah. it's fun. One of our cousins um, is in with the Canadian military, and she and I would write letters. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. And then one of my university friends um, was in Alert, and him and I wrote letters to each other, and that was in university. Oh. Um... But yeah, Alaska or Northwest Territories, somewhere up there. And it's really nice. And it's, it is time consuming, but it's so rewarding when you get one. Yeah. So I just sent them out yesterday, the six that I had done. I had them done for over a week and I hadn't mailed them out yet. So shame on me. But you know what? It's hard to get to the store and I'm not going to be pushing and pressuring myself to do. It's a fun thing. It's yeah, not, and that's what we have to remind ourselves with these videos as well. It's, it's we we do them when we have the time and stuff to talk about. She wanted to do it last weekend, and I had no stitching done, so there was no point of me doing a video. I had nothing to show. 
but we are at 54 seconds. I don't know if it was a good thing or a bad thing that we came down into my craft room. Well, maybe film. it's a good thing because I'm not at home and maybe we can stitch. Did you bring your stitching? Yep. Um, but I was just saying that it was very distracting because I everything is within. It's fun. Like, who doesn't want to be in their craft room? Yeah, that's true. It's fun. So, have a good week, everybody. Happy stitching. Um, and thanks for all of our subscribers and you guys for coming and spending some time with us. And for commenting. Commenting. And, and we really like it. Um, like, love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, that's one thing I wanted to say. So, with this, um, with her pen pals and whatnot, I was talking about something with her. And she says, oh, yeah, my friend has blah, blah, blah. And then she, oh, it was my vacuum. Oh my I was telling her that I bought a new vacuum. And she says, oh, my friend has that vacuum. And she really likes it and talks about it a lot. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm assuming this is a friend from work. No, this is a no, that, stitchy friend. No, it's not a stitchy friend. It's another person that I subscribe to. It's not. Uh, yeah, but someone from YouTube, though. Yes, someone from YouTube. So here I am. Yeah. She, she loves you guys. We both love you. But it's funny that she is working into our conversation. I'm like, oh, yeah. Her friends. Because My we friends. are friends. We are. We brought together from this community. And I just. No, it was Tiffany that I was talking about. Yes. So. No, not with the vacuum, though. What? What? It was just. She brought. She In casual conversation, yeah. she was saying her friend. And it's you guys. And it was funny. Yeah. And then I had said to her, I was with, at my parents' house and sitting with my mom and our other sister, and we were talking about the videos. And I said, I think my sister's my best friend. <laughs> and it's important to note that you said that in front of our other sister. Yeah, my mom's like, well, don't say that in front of your other sister. I think my sister's my best friend. Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's recorded. It's out there for life. Isn't that nice? Well, but I mean, it's true. Well, yeah, I think it is, guys. I think my sister's my best friend. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I work full time. I have a stressful job, and I come home. I just want to be by myself. I want to be with my husband and my dog. So if I do something social, it's usually with her, or my other sister, or my mom. It's our family. But you know what? That's a good thing that we have family. Some oh yeah, yep. But we rambled on again. And <gasps> goodbye again. At, goodbye again. This is almost an hour. So until next time, mm -hmm. happy stitching. Bye.